Hello friends, welcome back to the next session in our Adware Form Learning Series. And in this lesson, we are going to learn what is master page, detail or body page, and what is subforms. So we'll learn all these topic in this session. So let's understand in detail what exactly the master page. Every interactive form must have at least one master page, which is automatically generated by the system when you are creating the form. This means that whenever you go to transaction code SFP and after creating the interface, when you are going to create the form and if we click on that layout button, so by default we can see one master page automatically created by the system with the content area. Okay, and here after that you can see one Untitled subform here written as page one. This we can call as a body page or detail page. Okay, so one master page is automatically created by the system based on our requirement. We can create the multiple master pages. Okay, so let's first understand what setting we can do at the master page level. Now, whenever we are going to design any kind of print form whether it is purchase order, sales order, finance document, any kind of form. Okay, so first we have to decide which type of paper we have to use, whether it is A4, A3, letterhead. Okay, so we have to decide which paper type we are going to use and the orientation, whether we want portrait or we want landscape. So here in Adobe form, this setting, this page setting that is selection of the paper type and the orientation, this setting is done at the master page level. Okay, this setting is done at the master page level. That's why by default we get one master page by the system where we have to select our page type and the orientation. Now let's see. What is body page or detail page? Here we can see page one. Okay, so take example in a scenario we want two pages. Okay, we want to pay page one and page two. And what is the requirement? We want to add default header and footer on those pages, like we do in the word. What we do in the word file, we add the insert, we, we use insert header and footer. Okay, so once we add any information in the header level on all the pages that information reflect automatically okay so here in the same way on the master page first we can select the page type and the orientation after that take example we want to add the company logo or the company address on all the pages so we can add that logo at the master page level okay here you can see in this master page i have added this company logo we can add company address we can add date whatever we required based on our requirement which we want to reflect in all the sub pages all the forms that information we can add at the master page level okay so automatically that logo or the object which we added that will reflect in all the pages at the same position here you can see i have two page right page one page two so this is page one and this is page two. So we can see if you add the object at the master page level, that will automatically reflect on all the form pages. Fine. Now here, in this case, I have only one master page, right? And if I'm having only one master page, and if I'm adding multiple sub forms or multiple like body pages, so all we have the same property of this master page that is the same page type and the same orientation okay and this this is called the content area in, in which we add our objects that content area also decide at the master page level here you can see this content area this will decide the area on that page on which we can add our object now as you know here you can see like for those both master pages, my paper type is A4 and it is portrait. So you can see this layout. Okay. 
Now, as in a scenario where our requirement is first two page I want of type A4 with portrait, but the next page I want to display some other information, and for that I require a landscape page size. Okay, I require landscape. So in such case, what we can do, we have to add one more master page. Here you can see page one. This is previous master page, and page two. This is my new master page. And for this page two, my paper type is A4, but the orientation here is a landscape. Fine. And here I have added one new page. One more can call as a body page or form page. This is page three. Page one, page two was already assigned to my first master page. Now my requirement is this page three. I want to assign to this next new master page. So how to do that? For that, we have to go to properties. That is object of this new form page or body page. We can call anything. We have to go to properties of this in the object level, and inside the object, go to pagination tab. And in the pagination tab, in this place field, you have to click on this icon. Once you click this icon, we'll get one more option to select where we want to place that. So here I have selected top of page page two. What is this page two? This page two is nothing but this master page. Okay, like this. If you have multiple forms, okay, and different requirement, different page size, different orientation, in that case. We have to add different master pages, and based on the requirement, we have to assign that form page to the respective master page by selecting this object. Fine. So now let's log into our SAP system and create one master page with two or three form pages. Now here I will go to transition code SFP, and I'm creating a new interface here, ZK. Int. It says zero six underscore mp. Okay, master pages we are learning here. <clears throat> Demo for master page and detail <clears throat> pages. Okay, a web dictionary local object save as a local object. I'm creating blank interface actually. I'm not adding anything as of now. Will add the details at later stage. Initially, just create and activate. I am not adding anything in this form. Okay. So my interface is ready. Now I will go to form. Let me enter here the form name. ADF ZK ADF zero six underscore MP. Now I will click on create. Demo on. Master page and detail page. Give the same interface name which we created. Save local object. Nothing to add from interface to context as of now. I'm not going to print anything. We'll just understand how to create different form pages and master page. Okay. Now go to layout here. See, here we can see by default one master page is there, page one. Okay, if you want, you can rename this, rename object. Let's say MP one. Okay, that is master page one, and we can see default form page here. We can rename this also here, rename object. Let's say page one. Okay. Now, sorry. So now, what I will do, I will add one more page here. So how to add that? Simply right click and click on New Page. Okay. Here I will rename this as Page Two. Rename as Page Two. Fine. Now, what we have to do? Okay. As I explained. Here at the master page level, you have to select the page type and all, right? So what we'll do first? Let me reset this palette. So 
see for this master page one here i'm selecting the page type as let's say i want to go with a4 okay so here i have selected page type as the a4 okay see here i'm selecting the page type a4 and orientation is land uh, portrait okay now if you go to properties of this page here page one and if you go to pagination and sub form one second So here we can see page one, page two in the pagination places following pages. Okay, because as of now we don't have any other page, right? So we, we have only master page one. That's why it will get printed on the same page. Okay, and the same property of this MP1 will get assigned to page one and page two. Now what I will do, now see, this is the content area. This is the content area of this MP1, right? So what I will do, I will add logo on the master page. As of now, for the master page, I've done only setting for that paper type and the portrait orientation. So let me add one logo here and we'll see where it is getting reflected. So it should get reflected on both the page one and page two. So we have learned how to add the logo, right? So go to insert, custom, standard, and image field, uh, image. I'm uploading image from my laptop. Okay, I'm uploading from my laptop. Let me scroll up. Scrolling is the issue in this Adobe form. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just adding one for logo here. Let me select logo from my desktop. ZKT okay same logo I will add here and here we know whenever we are uploading the logo from laptop if I'm not able to see this object after selecting this go to palette and click on this object okay and it is mandatory to select this embedded image data this is important if you're selecting from your local laptop select this checkbox in the property of this logo okay embed image data Fine, let me save this. Now, after this, okay, we can see, go to page one, see, by default on page one, page two, we can see that logo. This is design view, right? This is design view. Okay, so let me add some text here. Let me uh, add some text on this page one, page two. Okay, let's make it 125, zoom. So I will add some text here view standard and text now text i'm adding on the respective page not on the master page right i'm not adding on the master page so i will increase the font of this and let's say here i'm just giving heading i'm just giving some heading let's say customer orders okay i'm just giving the heading here as here as customer orders and I'm going to increase the font and making as bold. Okay. If you want to change the color, go to palette font. We can change the color as well. Okay. We can change the color of that. Let me change that too. Okay. Customer orders. So this I have added on the page one. So logo is coming by default from the header page okay and this i have added in the respect to respect to page isn't it let me drag and drop close this i will add just after the logo so whenever you want to add header information from the master page first add all the header information master page so that we will know the position where we can add our other things on the respective pages okay so here i have added customer orders on page one now similarly on page two i want to add some other text let me just copy and rename only <clears throat> i will copy this i will go to page two and i will paste here 
okay and i will rename this instead of customer orders i will make as terms and condition okay i will make this as terms and conditions fine let me change the color of this font i will do in different font go to palettes font and this time i will select red font okay so now we can see this in the red color save again go back so till now what i have done one master page we have added logo and on the body pages page and page two i have added two text okay two text field now i will close this check and activate okay so one master page and two form pages one for the order information and second for the terms and condition see the output here this is page one customer orders and here you can see page two okay and for both the page type and the orientation is same okay both you can see of same type and same orientation fine so this logo is coming from the master page and respective text is coming from the form pages now what i will do the third requirement i want to add one more page as a landscape so as i mentioned whenever in the same form we require two different page type or even if the orientation is different we have to add a new master page then only it is possible right so here on the layout what i will do right click and new master page okay here it is new master page <coughs> okay so this is my new master page so i will rename this object as mp2 okay and this is content area of this master page see this is first two pages first page and this is second master page without anything now here let me add some other logo here i'm going to okay before that for the master page let me select the paper type in the orientation paper type is a4 only but i am selecting as landscape fine i am selecting as a landscape now on the first master page i have some my this logo here i will try to add some other logo so let me add one more logo here go to view insert standard image field drag and drop here okay this is my second master page where i have set the orientation as a landscape okay so let me select some other logo here this this image i will select open and here embed the image data fine and now i will add one more page the master page is done now i am adding a form page which i will assign to master page 2 so here right click and new page okay right click and new page this i will rename as page 3 okay page 3 now this i have to assign to mp2 right so how to assign that i'll select this page 3 and here in the pagination i will click on this icon top of mp2 master page 2 okay this means that the master page 2 is assigned to this page fine so we can see by default this logo is appearing here why because on this master page 2 i have added this logo so that's why here we are able to see that now let me add one text here Now this is the content area. Okay, this is master page content area. So we can see the content area here. If you want to change this, we can also change the content area details. This is the content area. Okay. Now on this page three, let me add some more text here. I will insert 
in a text. <clears throat> Let me zoom, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, I will drag and drop that text here. This I'm adding on the page three, which is in the landscape. Okay, and let's say accounting, only accounting detail, let's say accounting details. Fine. So accounting details, I'm adding on the new page three. I will increase the font. Fine. Here I want the accounting details which will come in the landscape format. Got it? So what we have done, we have created two master pages. First one is A4 portrait and second is A4 landscape. And three pages, first two are assigned to MP1 and this third one assigned to MP2 where I have a different logo. Let me save. Close this. check and activate here in this lesson we are learning first only how to design the pages data will display in the upcoming session so first we have to understand how is that the master page work how to assign the form pages now let me execute this see i will see the first page a4 portrait customer orders second page terms and condition and see third page in the landscape format and a different logo okay so like this we can use the master pages and form pages so we will learn that paper size we have to define as the master page level which type of pipe paper we want to use and the orientation that we have to use at the master page level okay and if you have only one master page and if you're creating n number of sub pages so all will have the same properties okay and in case of multiple master pages we have to assign the respect to master page to the body page through that object navigation concepts okay so in this way in this session we have learned the concept of master page and the detailed oblique body pages or you can call sub forms okay not the actual sub forms that is called as section or called as window that we'll see in the next session. Okay, like how to add the sub forms on those form pages. Okay, and after that, then we'll start displaying data on those on the same pages. So first we're learning only the designing part. Once we're familiar with the design part, how to design master page, body page, and sub forms, then we'll go for the display of the data. So that we'll see in the next session. Thank you.